So recently I decided to make the jump from Spotify to Apple Music, which I've actually been considering doing for some time, but I've always been put off by the idea of having to recreate all of my playlists and re-tag all of my favourite albums and songs. So you can imagine my delight when I stumbled across this little app called SongShift. SongShift basically takes care of all of this for you, and what's more, it'll do it for absolutely free. There is a paid version, which we'll get onto a little bit later, but let me start by showing you how the free version works. The first thing I'll mention is that I'm going to demonstrate how to use the app on my Mac, but the actual app itself is designed to be used on iPad. Honestly, I don't think it matters which Apple device you use, whether that be your Mac, iPhone or iPad. It seemed to work just fine for me on my Mac, but if you want to use your iPad, you can go ahead. If you do a Google search for SongShift, clicking on this link on the SongShift website will open up the corresponding App Store page and you can download and install the app as per normal. Before opening the app, I recommend opening Apple Music and making sure that you're signed in. Having signed in to Apple Music, you can now open SongShift. The first time you open the app, you'll be asked to connect to the two accounts you wish to transfer your playlists between. As you can see, SongShift works on many different platforms, but for this demo, I'll start by choosing Spotify, which I'll be transferring my playlist from. You'll need to log into your Spotify account and then allow SongShift permission to access those playlists. Spotify should now be displayed as a connected service. We then want to do the same for Apple Music, and because we're already logged in, we're not asked for our credentials. We just have to allow permission for SongShift to access our music library. At this point, you can choose to connect any other platform you subscribe to. Otherwise, having connected our two services, we'll click Continue. You're then given the opportunity to continue using the free version or upgrade to the paid version. We'll continue using the free version, but in just a sec, I'll show you the main benefit of the paid version and why you might want to consider upgrading. Clicking Get Started takes us to the main window, and to start transferring our playlists, we simply need to click on the plus icon in the corner here. Now we can choose what we want to transfer and the services we'll be transferring from. Since I'm transferring from Spotify to Apple, I'll click on Playlists, and displayed here are all of my Spotify playlists. Now this is why you might wish to consider upgrading to the paid version, because the free version of the app only lets you transfer one playlist at a time. If you have hundreds of playlists and you don't fancy transferring each one by one, you'll need to pay. However, as long as you're happy, select the playlist you wish to transfer and click Confirm. Now it's just a matter of selecting the destination and then we're shown a review page which summarizes what is about to happen and we can make some changes if something doesn't look correct. Again, once you're happy, click Start Shift. The app will now go through Apple's music library, finding the exact songs as listed in your Spotify playlist. I found this process to be pretty quick, but I guess it all depends on how many songs are in your list. Once the process is complete, click on Continue to review the matches that were found. Here you can scroll through to see if the app has correctly identified the songs in your Spotify playlist with the corresponding songs in your Apple Music library. If you're happy with the matches, click Confirm, and that will create your new playlist in your Apple Music account. You'll then be taken back to the main window, and you should see a tick box here and the transfer marked as complete. If I open my music library app, here is my new playlist transferred from Spotify. Sometimes you'll have instances where the app can't find the same song in the destination library. In this case, you can choose to either ignore the song and it won't be added to your new playlist, or you can try to find it manually. You can try searching for the song using either the title or the artist name, and if you can find it, you can simply select it and choose update. Another scenario that you might come across is that the app incorrectly matches a song. In this instance, you can click on Edit and you'll be presented with alternative versions of the song. If you find a better match, again tick the box and click Update. So that is how to transfer playlists between Spotify and Apple Music for free. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices.
And you might also be interested in learning the proper way to delete apps on your Mac and a completely legitimate way of getting Microsoft Word for free. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.